gentlemen, welcome back. This is a special episode of the Course Grind Podcast with you this evening. Host, creator, Sean Rossler. How's everyone doing this evening? Hopefully well, hopefully safe, hopefully healthy. Um, you know, our thoughts are more and more constantly with you in the industry uh, as things evolve, as things, I don't know that we can even call it evolution at this point. Um, it's just, it's an unfortunate state of affairs and the industry that is so near and dear to all of us is surely taking some of the most severe hits and the best part about all that, if there is to be a silver lining, is that some of the staples in the industry, some of the most stand-up human beings in the industry that I've come to know have taken their capes up as I only so much hope they would and have come to the aid of so many people um, who are hurting, who are suffering, who are lacking in what they need, who are out of work, and who are, you know, just just in need in general. So it's been really cool to watch and see the landscape evolve on a nearly daily basis and watch who has come to be heroes. And, you know, tonight's hero that we're going to talk to really came as no surprise to me. You know, when I think stand-up, when I think of someone who's in it for the right reason, uh, he's the individual who taught me that oysters actually come from seeds. Stupid me, didn't know that. And every single time that I've interacted with the guy, there is just this constant air of being in it for the right reason, not just the profit, not just the dollar. It's about the, the aquaculture. It's about everything surrounding it. And now, in this time of need... With the people around him, it's about helping those less fortunate. And again, it comes as no surprise that I'm talking to this guy tonight. He reached out to me, gave me some uh, things that they're working on. I said, listen, I could pop this out or we could just jump on a hot mic and do this shit proper. So I had no question in my mind what I was going to do. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, special guest this evening here to talk about the Greg Hill Foundation, Restaurant Strong, and some other things he's been working on, Captain Steve Wright of Chatham Oyster Company. How are you doing this evening, sir? Good. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate you having me on tonight on short notice and to spread the word on this uh, this great offering that we have going on in conjunction with eFish Company um, and a uh, good friend and, and fishmonger, Matthew Henderson, um, who's, who really, um, you know, kind of put this together and was gracious enough to uh, include yeah. us in it. Yeah, it, so. it, it's, it, it's you know, in just reading the Instagram message, I knew it was one of those situations where it wasn't a matter of, oh, well, we can sit on this. You know, this this is a matter of something that has to get out now. And I know that just, just to put a timestamp up front, we'll review this later, I believe all orders associated with this are going to be due Tuesday night, and that's it? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay. And we're going to ship out um, Wednesday and, uh, and we're, we're going to try to do this every week or every other week, um, come up with a different offering okay. of uh, different um, products um, coming from Chatham. Okay, so so here's the deal, folks. You're ordering um, from, and Steve, correct me, from the eFish Company? Uh, yeah, the name of the website is namesakefoods.com namesakefoods.com I'm going to write that down and we'll plug yep. that in later and so you're going to order from there and I'm sure you're wondering what am I going to order why am I ordering it and where is it going and this is where you know when you call an audible real quick on a Sunday night and pop over to a quick like breaking news episode I'm going to hand it over to Steve, and Steve's going to tell you everything you need to know about this. Sounds great. Thank you. Um, so so when you order this package from name, namesakefoods.com, um, there's two packages. One is a 36-count of Chatham Oysters, and the other is 24-count Chatham Oysters plus three pounds of wild Chatham mussels. And um, the package price is on there. It reflects... Um, that the uh, you're, you're helping pay the harvester, you're helping pay <clears throat> our company, keep our employees at work, and uh, another additional uh, benefit is that some proceeds are also going to benefit the Greg Hills Foundation Restaurant Strong Fund 
and the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation, um, you know, as we're help, trying to help the restaurant community as well, <clears throat> because they're our bread and butter. Yeah. If people aren't going out and eating at restaurants, then seafood seafood takes uh, a backseat to food, every, any other protein yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and, 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 and real quick, Steve, just to jump in, just because I know people are probably wondering, you know, how, how has this impacted you? I know on a recent episode, we had like five former guests on. And it was awesome because everyone was able to share their stories and they were all unique. I, I, I'm wondering up in Chatham, Chatham Oyster Company, how has this impacted you so far? Yeah, so so prior to this, um, we were having a really strong winter season. We were selling a lot of oysters that were going all over the country. People were actively engaged, going out to restaurants, ordering oysters on the half shell, ordering, uh, you know, dishes of mussels. And, uh, and it came to a screeching halt. We, we literally went, uh, from a hundred to zero. And, um, you know, because the restaurant, um, market is, is our market for, you know, there's only maybe, you know maybe half a percent of our sales are, are local are, are retail. <clears throat> Everything else um, is local restaurant, wholesale distributor through Boston and, and out to the rest of the country. So, you know, guys in town that were fishing pulled their boats uh, because the wholesalers literally shut down because the the state um, closed restaurants essentially. Uh, and the ones that stayed open were for takeout only. And who's going to order, uh, you know, six oysters on the half shelf for takeout? It's not all that feasible. No, no. Yeah. And and, and it, it's it's these little things. And again, um, you know, pay, stay stay tuned in, stay close to the channel. I'm going to be having a second panel again, talking about the impact. Like a lot of people have messaged me saying, "What can I do to help? How can I help? What can I do to help?" This is a prime example, folks, of what you can do to help. And so, again, you know, just to hammer it to death as much as we can here, Steve, they're going to go to namesakefoods.com. They're going to order one or one of two packages, um, the, the oysters yeah. or the oysters and mussels. And then that money is going to go, again, just, just to reinforce. I know you've said it, but I want everyone to hear where this money's going. Yep, so it's going to help us uh, pay our employees. Uh, we've got a, a four-acre oyster farm to set up after it's been in dormancy all winter. We've got a lot of lot of oysters to handle and get them growing yeah. as we get into the growing season. Um, so, you know, everything gets eaten up in labor this time of year. Mm-hmm. Um, and we want to keep them we want to keep them working. You know, it's a safe place to work. They're outdoors. There's, there's really no risk of them being at work. Um to COVID-19 and the other thing is is you know one of our one of our harvesters that we buy mussels from um you know he's he's basically been shut down as well so I'm trying to give him some revenue also um you know to uh to be able to fish you know one one day a week or something and so you know he's going to go fishing for this package tomorrow and Tuesday and um you know it's going to give him some time on the water yeah. and then additionally the, the two restaurant uh, workers funds that you know there's there's been a lot of money raised because you know we don't know where restaurants are gonna <clears throat> end in, in all this you know some yeah. are gonna make it and some aren't yeah yeah and, and who knows what, what the market is is going to do as a result of that yeah no you, you're 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 spot on and and, and again uh, I you know, there, there's a saying that goes, ignorance is bliss. And, you know, I've always liked going to restaurants. I've always liked eating delicious, fancy sometimes food. And ignorance was bliss before I started the show in that, you know, I really didn't know my ass from a hole in the ground when it came to, you know, supply chain in, in the restaurant business, you know, anything like that. And now, having spoken to as many people as I have, definitely you included, it's like, I realize more like people around me are saying, oh, well, yeah, when the restaurants open back up, 
And I'm looking at him like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Like, you, you, you don't get it, do you? Like, what this is, yeah. literally every minute that they're closed, you know, it's great that they have a takeout presence. It's great that they have, you know, a butcher shop presence. That's not keeping the wait staff employed. That's not keeping your harvesters, Steve. That's not keeping all these That's people right. in. And so... It's a matter of act now. So if you want to know what you can do, it's not what you can do. It's what you should do here and now. What you should do, if you enjoy that experience, you know, I don't want to sound like the NPR guy during a fun drive, but if I've got to wax that, I'm going to wax that. If you've enjoyed this at all during the past year, break out your wallet, think a little bit, reach out, support. You know, a lot of people are saying, how can I help? How can I help? I like to believe that 100% yeah. of them mean how can I help. I don't think they do. I think it sounds good, and I think, you know, when it actually comes to breaking out the checkbook or breaking out, you know, and ordering stuff. But listen, like this th- – you're stuck at home anyway, so this is going to be the way you get it. Order it. You know, reach out. Order both. I don't care. Like I'm – seriously, my, my first thing tomorrow is I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to be like, listen – um, I talked to this guy last night. You might remember him. And, <laughs> you know, you want, you like yeah. oysters? Do you like oysters? Um, but no, and, and you know, I, I don't necessarily mean to get carried away, but it just, it kills me how aloof people can be. And again, you know, the main mission of the show is to educate. So, you know, if we yeah. can do that here tonight and we can lift up your cause and we can push that needle even just the slightest bit, Steve. I mean, that's that's what we're here to do. That's what we're here to do for yeah. you, with you, and just about you. So, um, yeah, I, thank you very much. Yeah, and, and I just want to say, you know, you know, your your podcast specifically, you know, culinary related, and, and the and the guests that you have on, you know, they have such incredible talent. You know how they how they prepare food. You know, your listeners. Um, can get a taste of that themselves when they order this package. You know, it allows them and it enables them to be creative in their own kitchens, yeah. to do something outside of the box that they're, you know, not not all that comfortable with. Um, you know, cook, cooking seafood. No, you guys don't. Nobody has to be afraid of an oyster because uh, no. there's chucking videos galore. <clears throat> You don't have to eat them raw. There's plenty of preparations, um, easily obtainable. Yeah. We can help with recipes. You know, it, it, it's just, you know, if people are stuck at home, like you said, you know, let's get a little bit creative. Everyone yeah. needs to be creative and come up with solutions and and help drive, um, you know, our, uh, our food stability in this yeah. country right now. And, yeah. and that's... It helps support our, our food stability. It's exactly, naturally. yeah, yeah, yeah. A, 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 exactly it. And you know, not to you know, I, I've already had you on. Well, now this will be twice. I've already had you on air, so I don't have to kiss your ass for anything. But you know, when I came to Chatham, I knew I liked raw bar. I didn't know how much. And listen to this man, people. If if you're looking to understand it, and go out to the site, you know, message the guy. He's incredibly approachable. And took me and the kids out on a boat, checking out the place and everything. And, you know, I didn't shuck an oyster before I met Steve. And now I can pop 10, or rather 12 open, eh, probably in about five, six minutes, which I know is slow. It's slow in your terms, Steve, but you ignited that fire in me. And that was before the end of the world was upon us. So, you know, now that you have You know what goes (laughs) slow because you keep the quality up. (laughs) <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think what I'm trying to say, people, is that, like, look, like Steve said, you know, don't be afraid of it. There's really nothing to it. You know, I remember a time when my wife was afraid to cook fish, and now, Jesus Christ, I can't get airtime in my own kitchen. So, you know, just just learn. Be willing. I've I've put out for the show, like, look, if you need an Iron Chef in your pantry, send the show a picture, and I'll give you something to make with it. I'm cool with that. Same thing here. Like, this is really cool stuff. You know, oysters, I cannot speak highly enough of them. I love them raw. You might not. And like Steve said, there's plenty that you can do with them. And mussels, mussels are freaking amazing to begin with. So, uh, 
look, you're you're gonna get your money's worth for sure, and you're gonna be supporting a good cause. So there should be little to no confusion as to what you should do. Like as soon as you hear this, like I hope your hands moving right now to go out to um, namesakefoods.com and make that order because I I think you should. I really do think you should. If I can subconsciously influence you, I think you should. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, well, so. thank thank you, and, and thanks to everybody who's uh, who's ordered and, and going to order. Yep. Um, you know, the shellfish is an excellent source of, of protein and other nutrients that are, are really good for your immune system as well. So, yep. you know, you're not only taking care of uh, some people that have been affected by by all this, um, you're also taking care of yourself by eating by eating uh, good, nutritious food. You know, domestically produced seafood. So, absolutely. I uh, just can't can't thank people enough who uh, who do this. And the Instagram stories I get, um, you know, people that that tag us after they get their packages. You know, it's just great to see that people rally around it, um, come up with great preparations, doing different recipes. You know, and then it just gives you that much more, um, um, you know just really ties you into your work that much more that what you're doing is is helping people also you know yeah. when they uh, when they make this stuff for themselves yeah for sure for sure and i mean that's that's got to be a great feeling so folks go out check it out today namesakefoods.com either package either the oysters straight or the oysters and the mussels you, you really can't go wrong either way if you want to learn more about oysters themselves check out chanamoysters.com um couple follows out on the insta um and I'm, I'm looking at it right now uh chatham shellfish co on insta all one word check them out um i know sam adams is involved in the process steve so you know definitely want to give a shout out to them how, how have they helped out along the way um i i've i've tweeted to them but i haven't gotten anything back you know they're a big machine, but uh, Greg Hill mm-hmm. and the Greg Hill Foundation. He's a he's a W E E I Patriots insider. So I mean, um, you know, not everybody in the country needs to hate on the Patriots right now because Robert Kraft just flew his airplane <laughs> to China. Well, we got rid of Brady, so we're good with that. So that's fine. Oh, we're good now. <laughs> yeah, we're good now. <laughs> so, cool, so, uh, so he's a Patriots guy, but anyway, he's he's helped out too, uh, spreading the word. Awesome, man. Awesome. So, Chatham Shellfish Co., Greg Hill Foundation, um, I'm trying to find, old school Steve-O out there on Insta, that's Steve himself, man. They, you know, s- s- send yep. him out some yeah, love. Yeah. Check, he, out, check out Dead Fish Guy. Dead Fish Matthew Guy. Anderson on Instagram. At Dead yep. Fish Guy. It, uh, again, you get these oysters. Tell him about it because it's cyclical. You're going to want to order more, and he's going to want to like do bigger and better things with this amazing, amazing element. Which, folks, if you're looking to get a real quick primer, I think our episode was what, Steve? 43 or 44? I forget. It goes a ways back. But uh, yeah. it, it was a great one, great educational. Um, if you got kids at home, I don't think we swore that much. So, you know, if they're looking for a science extra credit, that's a good way to go about it. Um, you know, but again, Chatham Shellfish Company, ChathamOysters.com, um, Greg Hill Foundation, NamesakeFoods.com. That's where you want to go. That's where you want to order. I'm telling you, you want to order today. You will not taste a better oyster in your life. Uh, I, I assure you. I assure you of that. So, Steve, buddy, thank you so much for reaching out. Um, we will do whatever we can to boost the signal and uh, let us know if we can be of any, any further assistance. Can't thank you enough, Sean. I appreciate it very much. And Always, I hope you and your family stay healthy and well. Thank you, brother. Always an honor. Same to you and your family. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a special episode of the Course Grind Podcast. Uh, be sure to check out new episodes coming soon on YouTube, on iHeartRadio, on iTunes, and pretty much everywhere else on the internet that you can find people talking about stuff. So check them out. Stay tuned. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care. Welcome, 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 welcome.